How's it going, kiddos? Handsome Jack Boy here, bringing you guys the fourth episode of my Borderlands Underdome 2.0 Unique Weapons Guide. And in this episode, I'm going to be covering the Creamer. The Creamer is a unique Torg rocket launcher, and the prefix for mine is Miss Moxie's Flashy Creamer. The prefix for you guys might change. Now, as you can see there in the red text, it says Non Dairy. Wink, wink, chicken. Now, unlike the last three Moxie guns that I've covered in this series, this thing does not share its special effect uh, with its Borderlands 2 counterpart, meaning that uh, it's kind of its own rocket launcher in a way. It just has the same name and red text, but nothing else really is the same. At least I don't think so. Um, so, yeah. Also, you know, just to clarify to you guys out there that might be wondering, thing along with the other moxie weapons in this DLC do not heal you like the moxie weapons on Borderlands 2. Now I don't know the exact special effect of this weapon uh, but as you can see it has a times three next to the damage that means that it shoots three rockets every time you shoot it. Um, it also has a plus 21% increase to accuracy so the accuracy on this thing is really good. Now there are a couple negatives uh, for one the magazine size is terrible as you can see, three rockets, uh, and I think it consumes three rockets per shot since it does shoot three rockets every time you shoot it. And two, the reload speed is slow. Uh, so I think, you know, those two things kind of balance it out a little bit uh, and prevent it from being just pretty damn overpowered because this thing really is is overpowered. You, you'll see that when we get to the gameplay. By the way, uh, it can also come in uh, fire and corrosive. I'm not really sure about shock though as I have yet to get one. A shock but I do know for sure that this weapon can come in fire and corrosive as well now really quick before we move on um, if you guys are interested in downloading the underdome 2.0 custom DLC uh, there will be links in the description you will need Oasis first which is a map hub to custom DLCs such as the underdome 2.0 and that will also be in the description but anyways uh, let's move on to how to obtain this thing now once you're in the DLC head over and talk to Moxie do a few of her missions and eventually you get a mission called Ticket Toll uh, and as a quest reward for completing this mission you'll receive the Creamer. Now this mission is pretty much just like the last three missions uh, that you needed to complete to get to this mission uh, and that you have to collect tickets. I'm not going to explain how to get these tickets uh, because at this point like if you watched any of my last three Moxie guides uh, you should know how to get them um, especially if you're you know, following along with these guides and actually you know completing these missions now for the mission you'll need to collect 500 tickets which will take you a little bit of time uh, but eventually you'll get it and uh, by the way you can also get this rocket launcher from completing the bounty in the bog side mission from the bounty board which is actually an easier way of getting the rocket launcher as you saw though I, I got a fire one all right so my opinion about the creamer I love it I freaking love it um this thing on Borderlands 2 was uh, was pretty good, and on Borderlands 1, it's even better. <laughs> it's even better. For starters, the damage is just insane, all right? It is probably the best damage I've seen on a rocket launcher. Maybe. I don't really know, but I don't know if the damage is spread out between the three rockets that you shoot, or if it's like all three rockets deal 4,000-something damage, whatever the damage was on this particular creamer. If it was like that... Damn, son. Damn, son. That that damage, though. <laughs> Either way, I mean, the damage is amazing. So that is definitely this thing's, you know, biggest plus, I think. Uh, it also just has great accuracy. You know, all three rockets will hit wherever you're aiming at. Um, the accuracy is, is, what was it, 90-something? And that that's pretty good for a rocket launcher, in my opinion. That's pretty good for a rocket launcher. If you look at the reticule... Uh, it's really tight, and that's you know that's a good thing. So the accuracy is good. Talking about the negatives again, it does have a, a slow reload speed and a small magazine size. You can compensate for both of these if your class has skills or class mods that increase these two stats. Roland in particular has the support gunner and heavy gunner comms, which increase magazine size, and he also has a skill called Metal Storm, which increases reload speed for a short time after you get a kill. Um, so both of these things working in tandem makes this thing even beastlier. So uh, if I had to choose a class that is best suited for this particular weapon, I have to say Roland. I have to say Roland next to Brick, because Brick with the right build 
um, can absolutely destroy with rocket launchers, especially explosive rocket launchers. Um, but since I haven't tried this thing on brick, I don't really know for sure which class is better. But really, I, I think it's just a tie between brick and Roland. But overall, this rocket launcher is just insane. I'd say it's pretty overpowered, maybe not as overpowered as, I don't know, the Heartbreaker or whatever, but it's it's up there, that's for sure. Anyways though guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'm out of here. Peace!